Hello, my name is Arlen Fan. My work is titled Annotating Line Charts for Addressing Deception. My collaborators are Drs. Ma, Manzanito, and Majeski from Arizona State University. Charts and infographics are widely used for communicating dense data concisely. They are easy to read and are ubiquitous, appearing in places such as news and social media. However, these visualizations can be deceptive, which we define as graphics, whether intentionally or not, lead the reader to an understanding of the data which varies from the actual data. This can be caused by malicious design practices or inexperience in making good charts. To narrow our scope, we focus our work on line charts, which accounts for approximately 35% of all charts in the wild. We also note that an initial study confirmed the adverse effects of deceptive visualizations. Thus, for our contribution, we propose a web browser tool capable of reading and annotating line charts for addressing deception. This is packaged into a web browser extension for easy access. The pipeline of our tool is simple. It accepts any chart image on the internet as input. The data extracted by web plot digitizer and the specifications by reverse engineering visualizations. These specifications refer to the locations of the text elements. We finally run three main checks for truncated y-axis, inverted y-axis, and abnormal aspect ratio. In this particular case, the y-axis is truncated, so we reconstruct a con corrected graph to show what it looks like with a zero baseline. The annotation tool is bundled into a browser extension. It runs in the background, detecting images, and allows the user to analyze all the charts in a web page. We will get started by right-clicking the image and selecting Analyze. We will demonstrate the full pipeline here. First, we run optical character recognition to extract all the text. If it does not extract some text elements, we can manually draw a box around it and fill it. Next, we use a machine learning model to classify the role of the text, such as axis labels and titles. Following this step, we add a calibration to the axis in the chart by selecting known elements and points. After this step is done, we add the data trajectory and complete the analysis. The resulting figure returns the chart with helpful annotations that point out potential errors and deceptive elements. Some sample outputs will be shown on the next slides in case studies. In this first case study, which was shown in VizLies 2017, we see an alarming image of Arizona running out of water. The truncated y-axis exaggerates this effect. The annotation tool reads the image and shows what the line chart looks like if the graph started from zero. Another case we will explore is the Thomson Reuters graphic on gun deaths in Florida. This line chart features an inverted y-axis. Although the line chart seems to show a down movement after 2005, the reality is that deaths skyrocketed after passing a Florida Stand Your Ground law. We conducted a crowdsourced experiment on a total of 139 participants to gauge the effectiveness of our annotation tool. First, everyone took the line chart questions from the visual literacy assessment test which is a validated method of assessing critical reading of charts. Participants were split into two group pairs. Groups one and two tested for the difference of message exaggeration, and groups three and four tested for the difference of message reversal. For the message exaggeration test, group one had access to the annotation, while group two did not. The question was Likert-based, asking how much rate change occurred on a scale of one to five. Similarly, for the message reversal test, group three had access to the annotation while group four did not. The question was binary choice with a not sure option. We analyzed the results of the visual literacy assessment test. The scores across all four groups had similar means and a statistical test yielded the result that there was no significant difference between the groups. 
therefore uniformity of visual ability is implied. Next, we analyze the results of the mess exaggeration experiment. Group 1 participants who had access to the tool were able to spot the truncated y-axis quickly and thus answered 1 and 2 on the Likert scale more often. On the contrary, Group 2 participants did not see the annotations and were more likely to answer 4 and 5 more often. An odds ratio test yielded that Group 1 participants answered 1 and 2 2.25 times more frequently than Group 2 participants. This is a significant result, as an odds ratio of greater than 1 implies a significant difference. Finally, we analyzed the results of the message reversal experiment. Group 3 participants who had access to the annotations were able to spot inverted y-axes and thus were likely to answer the question with higher accuracy. In the odds ratio test, Group 3 participants on average were 5.22 times more likely to provide a correct response over an incorrect response. We also conduct a brief analysis of our results partitioned by education level. For the message reversal experiment, the odds ratio is higher at lower educational levels, suggesting that the utility of this tool is greater for people with lower educational attainment. Finally, we collected qualitative comments from participants. Most of them were positive, such as, they were awesome, I would have been totally confused without them. There were neutral comments as well. We received a suggestion. It may be helpful to place a solid thick border around the alternate charts. We will also discuss some limitations to our work. OCR is computationally expensive and inaccurate at times, causing fully automatic data reading to not be possible right now. In addition, we plan to explore alternate designs and branch work into other popular chart types, such as bar and pie charts. Through an internet crawl, line, bar, and pie charts consist of up to 90% of all visual, vi visualizations in the wild. Finally, due to the rise of infographics, we plan to integrate natural language processing into a tool like this to pick out potentially deceptive text captions and narratives. Thank you for your attention, and I'm open to any questions.